Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. I'm going to do your he said, she said spread. So this will include you and the person that you are dealing with or thinking about right now. So let's see. Okay, so in your past energy, I have the six of pentacles reverse, the ten of wands and the wheel of fortune in the reverse. So as your past energy, you, um, there were a lot of things going wrong in your life. There were a lot of uh, responsibilities that you were uh, carrying on and it had to do with an imbalance. So you were giving too much into a relationship and the other person was not giving you as much as you put in the relationship or there could have been a third party um, interfering and you could have been in a karmic cycle where you could not break through to um, to ditch this responsibility or like putting too much effort in a case um, but it seems that you were trying to avoid putting an end to it because um, I know that in I believe it was you, Cancerians, in your last spread. I also had the uh, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So, but whoever it is that you were dealing with, you felt that there was an imbalance. You were putting in all the work and you found yourself going in circles with no breakthrough with this person. You would not get through to this person and show them that you were putting all the effort in it and they were not putting any effort in it. So let's see, their past energy towards you, Cancer. Also an imbalance. So they, I feel that they, um, that you were very impatient with this person and you could have maybe lashed out. So they're, but they are not balanced within themselves either. So there, there is like a, some kind of um, impatience going on in their life um, where they're not aligned with themselves. Um, let's see one more card with the temperance in the reverse. You could be also dealing with a uh, Sagittarius. So they also have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So there was an imbalance um, and and probably an ending of the relationship because it was a heavy burden on them. So they were not feeling happy because of this unbalance that was going on. So let's see. Could also be dealing with a cancer, another cancer and um, or a Sagittarius. So your present situation right now, how you feel about them, like your present situation is. See, I do think that, that you are dealing with a Sagittarius in a specific, but uh, you are trying to be very um, down to earth, trying to uh, make progress in the situation, try to build something solid. But I also feel, oh, sorry, it's the King of Wands in the reverse. So with this, again, I feel that you are being very uh, aggressive towards this person. You really wanted like the highway or the map or my way. And I feel that you're putting all in all the um, effort and energy, but it's really exhausting. It's like you get exhausted from uh, from dealing with this and trying to move this forward because for you is it's going a bit too slow. So let's see what their what's their energy right now. Bit too many cards, but I got the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords, the King of Cups reversed, and the Knight of Wands reversed. So again, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or another water sign, but they um, they're kind of like stuck in. I feel that there is a third party here, and this could be the this fire sign that I'm talking about, they could be 
uh, breaking up with a uh, not a fire sign or a Sagittarius but it's something that they are they're not balanced about it and they still having like they are hurt they are stuck but they are keeping whoever this third person is stuck due to some emotional manipulation um, it's someone that comes in and out of their life and they can seem to get along with each other but yet they still keep that person stuck that's what i'm feeling strongly a lot of emotional manipulation to keep someone blinded or you blinded in the situation So let's see what are the blockage for you. I got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, yeah, and the Nine of Pentacles. So your blockage is that they, uh, there is no real commitment and you're still kind of uh, single focused on your own or this person is acting as if they are single and they're not ready to uh, accept a new uh, beginning or start putting effort in in this relationship they're acting very uh detached from the relationship and really focused on themselves and that's probably your blockage right now cancer so what are their blockage right now getting a lot of attention from people around them so this could also be you. Maybe you are getting a lot of attention. Oh gosh. Let's see, what is this? The Queen of Pentacles. So it could be that they are getting a lot of attention from, uh, as I was saying, from another person. Because this could be a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo and or that you are getting a lot of attention as well i see a lot of earth sign all of a sudden here but it could be that you are pissed off with this person with this fire person or this sagittarius and you have another possibility or an opportunity from an earth sign so their blockage is that you are receiving attention or um yeah a lot of attention from this particular earth sign see i also have the knight of cups uh so you could be also be offering your love to this particular person because you were just sick and tired of this imbalance with what's going on with you so how you view them right now or in the past i'm sorry yeah so the five of wands and the two of pentacles. So as I was saying, there could be someone else in your life and um, and you could have been talking with this person or uh, try to spend time with them because you were having a lot of conflicts with this particular person in your life. Or you view them as someone as well because I, as I was saying before um, that they were having two people and you were feeling that and that was what the conflict was about all the time because you saw them juggling you and someone else so how they viewed you yeah i got the seven of pentacles and the knight of swords so yeah you seem to be the one that was uh putting in all the uh effort and 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 um you were putting in all the effort, but you were not receiving what you were putting in. So you were uh, waiting and assessing whether this was going to go forward or not. And you got very impatient, as I was saying before, and you probably attacked this person to get to the truth. Um, and you, you wanted to know whether there was like any stability in uh, that, if there's going to be a stable relationship with this person and you rushed in and very harshly and spoke your truth about it so that's why they viewed you so how you view them right now how does your cancer sorry view the person right now 
Wow, it's the double card. So you you feel them as that they are stuck to someone else. There is a third party, um, and there is too much drama going on. I feel uh, you feel them as as not being fair, uh, doing things out of fear. As I was saying emotionally and mentally um very abusive very um let me see very dominating person not showing their emotions but wanting a lot from you emotionally one more card and how they view them one more card to clarify the devil card yeah as I was saying, the three of pentacles in the reverse. So, yeah, you know that they are attached with a third party. And this third party, again, could be a uh, Sagittarius. I really get strongly, but it is a, a fire sign. Uh, so, you know that they are attached to a fire sign. If this person itself is not a fire sign, you could be feeling that they are attached with a Sagittarius, Leo or an Aries. So how they feel about you, yeah, you got the death card and the uh, judgment card in the reverse. So with this, it means that they are not seeing any change um, in, a, in a renewal. They're not seeing, there is... There is a poor judgment that something is not going in their favor for them. Things are not, there might be things that are ending, but it's, they are trying to not make it happen. And they, they, they're not accepting any apology or renewal, or they don't want any. There is a bad judgment going on that they see you as someone who is very judgmental, maybe. I want to clarify one more card with this. Let's see. See, they don't want an ending. They don't want an ending. They think that you are judging them based on false information or based on um yeah they don't want something to end that's what i'm getting so your present doubts and fears cancer your present doubts and fears oh yeah is the three of swords with the page of wands in the reverse so your present doubts and fears is that due to this third party you're gonna end up hurt and with a heartache and a heartbreak and that you're still gonna be pissed off and not gonna get clarity um and that someone is not gonna communicate to you what has been going on and why this uh ending or why you felt betrayed See, I, again, I have the judgment in the reverse. So it's you who, um, who's really pissed off and you don't want a new beginning. You, you don't want to, um, you want, you don't want this person back. So their present doubts and fears is that you are going to keep on fighting them off uh with the seven of wands their doubts and fears are that you are going to uh be very firm stand your ground and not let them in any longer so see the empress in the reverse that you're not going to give them your love anymore that, that 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 you don't have any unconditional love and that this is over that's what they're feeling so let's see what is the outside influences for cancer in this situation what is the outside influences for cancer please show me the outside influences for cancer the seven of swords so the seven of swords is outside influences gosh seriously it just seems that yeah someone is out there lying 
about things that maybe they told you that it's over with a particular person, but it's not. They're not changing their behavior. If they say that they're going to change, they're not they're not changing it. They're still sneaking away. They're still lying, cheating, and manipulating the situation. So they're outside influences. See? There is a five of swords as outside influences. So yeah, there are multiple people involved. Um and they have been in um in a lot of conflict with people, but they are trying to either you or them is trying to hide that there were other people involved in the situation and that they were out there to to hurt one another or get someone that they that they just wanted to get just to for the sake of it and they're trying to kind of like keep that in secret so a lot of secret and mental manipulation going on things not changing for you guys hmm so what you don't see coming also very interesting wow where is this gonna go so into this reading right now what you don't see coming though wow the ten of swords is what you don't see coming so there is going to be a betrayal but also an ending to to this whole chaos so there is because there were all swords here and they are not letting go of of this betrayal or this uh, past issues um of a very toxic cycle with the devil card but what you don't see coming is that you are going to put an end to it. You are going to surrender yourself to it. One more card, please. And the Eight of Wands. So you might be even, or someone might be even communicating towards you. That's why you don't see it coming. Or you might be the one that is going to communicate towards them that you are done with this cycle and that you want it to be over with. So let's see what they don't see coming. The Queen of Cups. Now, I don't know if this was upside or not, but I'm going to pull another card to see what that Queen of Cups is. Hmm. So they have the Two of Swords and the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups, that's you probably and either it's you let me see this was this way so either it's you that is going to focus yourself on um just focus on you focus on yourself and drop this pe person behind that has been indecisive between you and this other person so you are going to put an end to this situation and you are going to be the one that says like, I'm choosing me, you go stay there, be indecisive, I'm choosing me. So you're turning your back towards this air sign as well, uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, but this could also be this third person. But it doesn't have to be a, a female, this could be also a, um, a male. So let's see what is the future energies and advice for you guys. What is the future energy and advice? I got the sun in the reverse. So you're not going to be very happy with the situation. There could be a delay in finding out the truth, but even though you don't have the the clarity exactly how you want it to be to have you are still completing a cycle so that is really good it means that whatever you went through with this person it was a karmic cycle and i have a lot like this is like the third or the fourth reading that i have also the universe card so it is really all about closing off cycles and it seems cancer for you that you are closing off a cycle with this person um even if it's if you're unhappy right now it's it just means that 
the happiness and the positivity is going to come afterwards. So whatever change is going on, yes, you might not like it right now, but with the sun card, it means that after all, you're gonna have this um, happy feeling anyway. When a person like this that is just being very deceitful and lying and uh, keeping you in the dark, if they remove out of your life, you will get the sun upright again because this cycle is closing for uh, for you. So if you if you're worried about it, don't worry about it because there is going to come a new dawn after it. So their future energies is going to be three of wands, the eight of cups reversed. And the page of wands reversed. Um, and I got the justice card in the end of the reading. So yeah, this, this is definitely with the justice and the universe, a very karmic cycle that you've been through. So their future energies could be that they are still going to be... Um, they are not going to be able to walk away from this third party yet. Uh, they are not going to be able to walk away if they were having, with this devil card, a lot of um, uh, addictions, whether it's too much partying, too much alcohol, too much drugs, name it. They are not going to be able to walk away from it. And um, they are not going to be capable of starting something new uh with with anyone because they're just not they're lacking passion right now they are i feel that they are too focused on on partying or or drugs or um meeting a lot of people right now um and they're not gonna leave the past for what it is they're not gonna walk away from it that's what i'm getting really strongly so that's all I got for you, Cancerians. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I see you the next time. Bye.